Hey there, it's Mike. Thanks for checking out this video. And today we're going to talk about websites. Um, if you're a street photographer, you may or may not have a website. Maybe you just have a social media account like Instagram or Twitter or something like that. Um, but if you're looking to maybe go beyond that, send people to a place where they can actually check out some different galleries of your work, things like that. I highly recommend having a website. Now you can spend a lot of money having a website it looks really flashy, really great. You can sell prints from it. It's going to cost you, you know, quite a bit of money, especially if you're going into the, into the e-commerce side or you're going to start selling prints from your website. I know some of the big names like Smug Mug and Zenfolio are very popular with photographers and they do have different, you know, different plans, different levels that you can pick. Um, and you can definitely sell prints from your website. But for me, I wasn't really looking to do that. And so I accidentally sort of stumbled upon um, a way that you can get five free websites. Now I use the word free with a little bit of a caveat here. Let me back up and say, I have a subscription to Adobe's uh, software plan. So as a real estate and interior and architectural photographer, I use Lightroom and Photoshop almost every single day and for almost every single job. They are absolutely crucial to my job performance as a real estate photographer. So I'm using them constantly. So for $10 a month, I got grand, maybe I'm grandfathered in now, but uh, quite a few years ago, they went to a subscription plan. And so I pay $10 a month and I get the latest version of Lightroom and Photoshop. And I use those all the time. What I didn't know until probably about two years ago is that as a part of that subscription plan, um, I have access to something called Adobe portfolio and they will literally give you up to five free websites that you can design, have its own domain name, et cetera, et cetera. And so, if you're a street photographer and you just want to send people to, you know, a site that just has different galleries, has your stuff, contact information, things like that. I highly recommend this as, as an option. And we are going to go to my desktop here in a minute. And I'll just show you a couple of the websites that I have designed with it, my street site and another site, just kind of run you through the back end a little bit and show you some stuff that you can customize, things like that. But I was really surprised. Like Adobe doesn't Adobe doesn't really, I guess, advertise this very well. I don't. I, I stumbled upon it because I think uh, someone in a Facebook group or someone on a photography site had mentioned it. And when I actually looked up Adobe Portfolio, sure enough, there it was. As someone who subscribes to their software, I can make five free websites. So it was amazing. So now the caveat is, of course, if you don't have a subscription plan through Adobe, then you would have to get one. So then you'd be looking at, you know, 10 to $12 a month. Now you're at a hundred and, you know, 20, $150 a year with no ability to, you know, have a flashy, you know, slideshow in the beginning or selling prints or whatever. But if you're, if you're someone who's looking for software to edit your stuff, um, Lightroom and, and Photoshop are great. And then you would get that, that free website, five free websites on top of that. So, um, definitely something I think you should can consider. They're not flat, you know, no pun intended, flashy websites with slideshows and all sorts of, you know, bells and whistles and things like that. But for me, um, to get something that's free and I don't need to sell prints, I don't mind having a couple of my, my, you know, my street photography and my wedding and, and sort of, um, senior picture websites with Adobe portfolio. And, you know, we'll take a look here in a minute at some stuff, you know, fairly user friendly. Um, unlike Squarespace, like I use Squarespace for my uh, real estate uh, interior and architectural site. It's, it's, you know, super professional, fantastic. Cost me, you know, like $180 a year, but that's the one where clients are going to and they're looking at and they're deciding whether or not to hire and pay me a lot of money. So that one needs to be knocked out. I'm not going to do an Adobe portfolio for that. For, for something where I just want to put some galleries up and have a, you know, a contact page and have a bio page and have links for my books and things like that. It is, it is a fantastic free, I call it again, free resource. So definitely look into this if it's something you, you haven't already. Um, let's go to the desktop here. 
we will run through some stuff. I'll show you the back end, maybe some of the things that you can do and you can decide for yourself. So let's head over. Okay, here we are on the desktop. I want to show you, if you haven't seen this already, this is my actual street photography website with Adobe Portfolio. And it's very basic. You can see there's no slideshow. There's no, it's, um, you know, just galleries here that you click in and then you can take a look at images. I can go back to galleries. You know, here's my winter stuff and people can just look through this. Obviously they can click on stuff and make it bigger and also scroll through the images which is kind of nice and then X out of that. But, you know, very basic stuff here, you know, with photos and text, um, an about page, kind of the same thing here, some text, a couple photos. Um, here are my, my two books. And what's nice about this is there are things that, you know, are link. I can link to, you know, here you can read about my book, see some sample pages. If you buy the book, I can link that right to my square, checkout um, for both of my books so you can do the same thing here read about it here buy the hard cover by the soft cover um, <clears throat> I do have a page of uh, two or three photos that have won some honors so I have that it does have a integrated contact page already which is really nice people use that and I do link to a blog which I haven't blogged in months but um, and that's through a different site that is not through adobe portfolio but i just link straight to that so um let's take a look at well actually let's do this let me show you a different site with adobe portfolio <clears throat> here's my wedding and senior picture i don't send people to this i don't advertise but here's a different layout okay so people can see weddings seniors family and kids so they can go to this and then again it's the I, I chose the same kind of grid style here and people can look through my weddings you go to home you can see senior pictures again i got to make my uh, wedding images have bigger larger gutters here but again then you can click on any of these to see them bigger and click through and see stuff so a very similar uh, you got the navigation up here Again, bio stuff, same stuff here. I do put um, a lot of um, testimonials for my wedding people. And then what I do do, another contact page, but I do link my other sites, my interior site, which is through Squarespace, and then my fine art site, <clears throat> which is with Adobe Portfolio. So let's, I'll show you, here's my Adobe Portfolio layout. Five websites, I'm actually using four of them, but, Here's my street site, and it just I can give you an idea um, of the different pages you can create and go in here. There's overall settings that you can choose um, in there. Those are kind of site-wide stuff. You can, um, again, background colors and fonts. You can change stuff. You can have different color schemes. Um, you can, if you want to do something like that, I know black can be... I'd have to change my logo up there, but I kind of like the black a little bit, actually. So um, it's quite customizable. Um, in my website container, this would be, um, you know, again, how the galleries, how big do I want the galleries, the margins, things like that. Themes. Now, here's where you may, you know, different than like Smug Mug or Zenfolio. There's not a lot of themes here. There's three, six, nine. So right now they got 12. Not a lot. They're all somewhat similar. It just depends. Again, no flash stuff, no slideshow, not really fancy stuff. I'm using Mercedes. It says current right there. But there's other ones. just depends on how you want your stuff to lay out and how you want your navigation to be. I've always liked my navigation on top. Just easier for people to, to get through. So not a lot of themes, but some nice ones. Very simple, basic, classic themes that you can um do so if let's say we go let's say you want to what can you do with the gallery so here we are at a gallery page um the photo gr grid you know you can you can put titles on there things like that um trying to see here's the grid style here's where you can choose the gutter again pretty basic stuff but nice um percentage of width you can limit how many images are in a row you know let's say you only want three in there or four or five you know i kind of limit 
there is two right there. Three isn't bad. So, <clears throat> and then whenever you make changes and you want those changes to stick, you would update live site. And then it'll actually go through here. It'll, it basically saves it. And then you can view your site, open up in a different link. And then, you know, I can see. If I go to umbrellas, here's the changes I made. Now I'm only having three across. I kind of like that, actually. I might actually do that. So I can click out of that and I can go back to editing um, and go to my different pages and things like that. And then I can go up here into the different one, a page container, and this will just affect this page, how I want to align things, things like that. And, um, you know, I, then I'd have to go, you know, if I make changes here, then I have to do that for every gallery if I want things to be uh, uniform. So if I go, let's let's take a look at, uh, like, my info page here, maybe. You know, here's where, you know, how easy is it? And it can be a little tricky. Every website's got, you know, some quirks to it. You know, you can add, you click on that plus button, am I adding, adding an image or text, um, a button, uh, audio things like that and you can change again here's where you can kind of grab these boxes you know how big do I want to make this picture depending on how I make the it's it's fairly user friendly I really like that you know what can I do with this one image do I want to replace it what about the width the margins things like that so I mean overall I would say it's fairly user friendly it's, it's definitely more user friendly than my real estate site which is Squarespace Square pa Squarespace is excellent. I love it. I'm not going to leave them, but there's definitely a learning curve there. Okay. So, you know, if you're already subscribed to Adobe, you got a subscription service, I highly recommend that you check this out. Again, very basic, but simple, classic, nice websites that have some nice things that you can tailor. Um, you know, your likes and dislikes too, and customizable, things like that. I would definitely check them out. Adobe Portfolio is what you would look up, and then you have to sign into your Adobe account um, and then start creating. And it didn't really take me that long to do it. Like I said, fairly user-friendly. So I hope that helps you out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Check out this website. Check out my books on Amazon or through my website. Uh, it would be great to get your support if you would purchase one of those. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Keep hitting the streets and shooting. We'll see you soon with another video. Bye-bye.